is going on YouTube speed pick you and I am bringing you a battle Wi-Fi battle uh, on Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire I'm using Alpha Sapphire but this is going against someone named Christian I met off of PSS and uh, as you can see he's like right there and there he has two unevolved Pokemon but I also have only one that's because I can't find the water stone but, uh, you know, let's get this on the road, but, you know, before that, I'm gonna explain my teams. He has a Swampert, Swallow, Azumarill, Veron, and Gorefish and Ninjask, I'm guessing. And then he, ha then I have a Swampert, which has a really bad set, so it was my HM slave at the end now. But, uh... And I also have a Metacross, Adamant Natured. I just soft reset it until I got the Adamant Natured. Gardevoir, Swallow, Alakazam, and Lombre. So, the, my lo, lo, Lombre is actually my other HM sleeve. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's, let's get this battle started. And, uh, I'm meeting, uh, let's get this right up there. I'm leading it with Mr. Kippies slash Swampert, and then he's leading with his Ninjask. This thing actually turned into a pain further on, and then, you know, kind of made a few mistakes. If this thing, if my Swampert was adamant, this thing would have been OH KO'd, one hit killed, basically. But it wasn't, so it was very unlucky. Then I misclicked and hit dive. So I was like, oh god, it's not the way I wanted to start this. I wanted to kill this thing right off the bat. And this is the second battle between him, me and him and I. So I'll upload the other one after this. But then he sends in a zoom roll and then I use dive. It's not going to do much. So I just kept, I don't know what I was thinking. So I just kept him, um, Swampert in. Hoping that I could take this thing out with a strength, but if I had Earthquake on, I could have taken it out in one hit, basic, I think. But then it uses player off, I hung on with 24 HP, and then I was hoping that I could knock its deep defensive st stat down so I could hit it once with a Brave Bird or something with my Swallow if I did die. Which I did, but it did not give a D defense drop, so I just sent in my F16. Slash Swallow, as you could see. Secret powered it. And luckily, I hit that crit. And this is just, you know, a few minutes in the battle. So he sends in his lair on. And I was like, you know what? I don't think my Swallow could take a hit from this. Switched out, went straight into Lombre or my dishwasher. But uh, he uses Rock Tomb. And when I saw how much damage this did to Lombre. Like, ooh, this, yes, Spell probably couldn't take that. Then his rock slide. That he did a pretty good amount, so I just surfed up, hope hope that those waves just knocked him right out, which they did, luckily. And I just was like, this long break's worthless now, since I took out something with it. I knew I could have kept, if I kept it, I could have taken out the Swamper, but I didn't want to risk it, so sacrificed him and then here where all the bad luck uh, starts sending Gardevoir and I mega evolve it I was like even with a fury cutter I could survive it at least once and that's if I didn't get a crit and then he yeah he gets a crit so, and I went for a call mine. I could have taken this thing out with a sidekick or t bolt or something like that. But I was thinking I need to, if I could get this, these stats up, I could knock it out and not go in. Not only knock this thing out, but knock out his entire team, the rest of his team. But no, I couldn't. So then, he, uh, then I sent in my Zam, or Alakazam, I call it Zam. On. Then he fury cuts me again. Die, because Alakazam is not the bulkiest. <laughs> Nowhere near it. But then he uh, 
Then he gets the speed boost again. Let's see. I won't turn 13 on a 19. Got the Swallow. Baton passes into... What is it? Swampert. Or Swampert. His Swampert. I was able to Brave Bird twice off this thing. I know it was basically suicide. I was like, no, let's wing this. And knocked it down that far. Sadly, I was hoping to get at least halfway. I was kind of surprised when I survived this. I was like, yeah, Swallow, well, it's not bulky at all, but it survived a rock slide. That's good. That's good. Then, uh, that's how I then killed myself, but hoping I could take down the Swampert with a crit. But I did not. So I signed in my Metagross. This is where the amazing stuff starts to happen. I don't think he knew if I had bullet punch or not. So he mega evolves and I was like, I could take this thing out even if it did mega evolve with a bullet punch because it's a stab. And uh, takes this, take this thing down. And he goes into his ninja ask, I do believe. No, it's his swallow. I'm, I was hoping I could get a attack up with this. Uh, meteor mash, but I did not, but it still killed this thing in one hit. And his swallow is down. That's four out of his six. And I, I still only have one. <laughs> I bullet punch this, knock it out, get out of the way. I did not want to take any damage from it. So he's down and out. And then he has his core fish left, which this ends the battle. And I used a headbutt just to finish it, just in case. And GG, man, that was actually a pretty amazing battle. He did put up a good fight. If he had a, uh, I think it's a Kingler or something like that, whatever that Corefish thing evolves into, it would have been even worse. And if he had an Aggron, Mega Aggron, man, knock this out of the world. But GG, I'll upload the other battle that I had with him later, and... Yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like, and also comment down below, not only your friend code, but if you would want, like to battle, and yeah, so thanks for watching, and see y'all next time, later.